Welcome to Health Steps 24-7. I'm Chris, your social media pharmacist. Today, I will be talking on how to use the acronym WARTS to treat shock. Become a health stepper. Subscribe to Health Steps 24-7. What is WARTS? WARTS is an acronym that is used in the treatment of shock to help you remember the steps that should be taken when providing treatment to a patient who is experiencing shock. What is an acronym? An acronym is an abbreviation formed from the first letters of other words that is pronounced as a word. What is shock? Shock is a life-threatening, generalized form of acute circulatory failure with inadequate oxygen supply to the cells of the body. That results in inadequate oxygen utilization by the cells. Therefore, shock occurs when oxygen supply to the cells of the body is low causing a reduction in the cell's ability to use oxygen, resulting in generalized circulatory failure that is sudden in onset and life-threatening. How to know if someone is experiencing shock? What are the signs and symptoms of shock? Signs and symptoms of shock include lightheadedness, dizziness, confusion, decreased level of consciousness, unconsciousness, nausea, vomiting, pale and cold skin, rapid pulse, rapid breathing, restlessness, and irritability. How to treat shock? How to use the acronym WARTS in the treatment of shock? WARTS is an abbreviation for warmth, a, B, C, D, rest and reassurance, treatment, semi-prone. Warmed, how to keep a patient warm who is experiencing shock. When treating shock, the patient should be given a blanket or warmer clothing. Also, to help the patient keep warm, if the patient is in an environment that is not warm, move the patient to a warm environment. A, B, C, D. What does A, B, C, D mean? A, B, C, D is an abbreviation for airway, breathing, CPR, defibrillation. Any life-threatening emergencies a patient who is experiencing shock is having such as if the patient is not breathing or if the patient has a poor airway, should be treated. Rest and reassurance. How to provide adequate rest and reassurance to a patient who is experiencing shock. Shock can cause anxiety. To help the patient calm down, be less upset and less anxious, Sit the patient down and try talking to them. Treatment. Any injuries, including broken bones and bleeding, should be treated. Semi-prone. What is semi-prone? Semi-prone is to position the patient on his or her left side with the patient's lower arm placed behind the patient's back. Both ties are flexed, with the upper or right tie flexed more than the lower or left tie. The semi-prone position is also called the recovery position. Can a patient who is experiencing shock, who has a suspected spinal injury, be moved? If you suspect that the patient has a spinal injury, 
do not move the patient unless moving the patient is necessary. When providing first aid in an emergency situation, only do things you are qualified to do. Do not try any medical procedure you may have seen on the internet or TV or administer drugs to the patient you are not trained to give. Once you have established your patient's level of consciousness and how severe the emergency is, call 911 immediately. Tell the 911 dispatcher your location and the nearest major intersection. Give the specific location of the patient. If you do have to leave the patient to call 911, place the patient in the semi-prone or recovery position before leaving. When possible, ask someone to guide the paramedics to your location. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Join me next time for more healthy lifestyle videos.